a population that thrives in the shadows, now thrust into the international spotlight. Yeah, we're really speaking about slum dog millionaires, slum dog millionaires. Dara v. Slum, the setting for the movie Slum Dog Millionaire, defies definition. Even the film's eight year old star was shocked by the poverty. There are many people who stay in the road near gutters, eight near gutters, all mosquitoes and bees are on their boys. It's known as one of Asia's largest slums. Around a million people live here, packed into an area that's less than one square mile. Somewhere around 50% of Mumbai's population lives in a slum like this one. And while there are the stories of struggling that you might expect, there are also some that might surprise you. This is my palace. 21-year-old Jason Tangaraj grew up here, and shares this tiny home with his parents and sister. He's working hard to get out by studying for an engineering degree. It's a mindset for people. Dharavi is basically a slum, slum, slum. Have they ever come here and saw this? Maybe not before, but they are now. This is Dharavi. The movie generated business for slum tours. Yes, they filmed it from there. Reality tours lets outsiders explore Dharavi. It's really shocking how organized it is. There are commercial districts and residential, and there's water and electricity and services and schools. But tours are not the only business. A maze of makeshift homes and 10,000 small businesses generate an annual GDP of more than $600 million, all in an area smaller than New York City's Central Park. There's gemstone embroidery, stones chipped to grind grain, and a leather industry which employs 40,000 people. Believe it or not, Dharvi slum means opportunity for some. These boys make just about $50 a month here making these small leather wallets, but there were no jobs at all where they came from. Like these boys, two-thirds of India's population lives on less than $2 a day. In this small shop, these kids say that while education would be a way out, Again, pura family made their families depend on their earnings. But earning a million dollars here, even on the Indian TV show, seems out of reach. The movie is false, Arvind tells me. A guy from Dharavi wouldn't even be considered for a TV show. When the movie opened here, it sparked scattered protests, among those offended by the word dog in the title. Indians have always been very sensitive to the way uh, Indian poverty and uh, the lack of development among vast sections of the Indian population have been portrayed on cinema. Still, Slumdog Millionaire was the fourth biggest weekend box office opening ever for any Hollywood film released in India. It's the kind of success that Jason believes could generate hope and investment in a place that could use both. You're proud of Yeah, I'm definitely here. proud of being here, you know. I Why? want to change the whole face of Dara, you know. And that would be a real Hollywood ending. Seth Doan, CBS News, Mumbai.